Thank you for joining us for USO HRCD's first ever Earth Day project. We are excited to have you here, teach you some tips about sustainability, enjoy the outdoors a little bit together on this beautiful spring day, and do a macrame project together. So let's go ahead and get started. easy ways that we can incorporate being sustainable into our everyday life. Let's start first with what we're consuming and bringing in. Like using our shopping bags that are reusable. There's so many, some are insulated like this one, some are super portable and fit in your purse, but leave some in your car and just remember to bring them in with you. One of my go-tos for sustainability is my water bottle. I don't leave the house without this. You can fill these up reduce waste on plastic bottles, and keep yourself hydrated. When I'm shopping, I like to select produce that's organic. Why? Organic means that we're not using as many chemicals and preservatives, which means in the long run, it's better for not only our bodies, but the ecosystem as well. And when I purchase those veggies, I always use my own reusable mesh bags. Why use plastic when I'm gonna throw it right away? When you package your food, consider buying something like this. Rather than plastic baggies, these are perfect for snacks and sandwiches. They're reusable, you can clean them. They store in the fridge or freezer well too. And for eating, my favorite to take along with me is a set of bamboo utensils. If we just thought ahead and brought our own utensils, imagine how much less of this plastic waste would end up in our landfills. Another one of my personal favorites, is reusable beeswax. Instead of buying plastic cling wrap, this is reusable and such less of a hassle than trying to get that plastic off the roll. And when you buy these items, you're investing in your future as well as the Earth's future. You buy these once and you use them multiple times. So you're not worrying about purchasing again, the packaging that goes with it. This is a one-time buy that helps you for years to come. And of course, while we're in this time of COVID, let's use these masks that are reusable. It boggles my mind that people still buy one time use masks. You can just simply wash these after each use. So consider what you're purchasing, what you're buying and using on the regular, what you use for convenience, and how well that might be convenient. Thinking ahead and planning means that so much less ends up in the waste. So much less ends up in our landfills. So, what do you think? When you throw something away, where does it go? Away just means it goes into the earth, causing pollution, contaminating water, and overall hurting our planet. So if you think ahead, plan out your day, plan out what you may be doing, and have a backup plan like some items in your car, backpack, or purse, you can make a difference. Try growing a vegetable garden from seed or plant, or consider an herb garden. More of a flower person? How about a garden aimed at pollinators? And be sure to use solar in the garden whenever possible. So I've shared some of my favorite sustainability tips with you, and I'd love to hear some of yours. So leave some of your comments below so we can share on how we can create a happier, greener, healthier environment together. So thank you again for joining me. And if you received one of our Earth Day Family Activity Kits from USO HRCV, you're gonna wanna go ahead and grab that now. The kits look like this. They came in a cute little brown paper bag. And on the outside, we wrote some sustainability tips and information to, uh, you know, inspire you. So from your kit, we're gonna go ahead and grab your macrame string. We've already tied this together, as noted, eight strings of about a foot in length each. We're gonna divide this up into four sections of two strings. Now, 
take your first set of two strings and about finger width apart for me, or maybe two fingers for the kiddos, go ahead and tie your first knot. This doesn't have to be perfect, but what we're gonna do is create the base here. So whatever our first knot is, we want all those to follow to be about the same. In reference to our macrame project that's already built here, we're making this knot here. So they're not perfect, but they're pretty close. So we can tighten them a little if we need to in either direction just to get them closer. But once we have our first four knots, again, we just made these first four that you're seeing here. Now with this laid out, I'm gonna start with one and I'll grab the left string of this one and the right string of the one next to it. And I'm gonna tie another knot. Again, about fingers width, maybe a little further. What we're doing now is a second knot. And this will help create that nice little diamond shape that you see here. So my first two combine with this. So now over here, I'm gonna grab this one that's left over and the right one from this next string and do the same thing. Some people like to tie their string down just to help it from moving around. But having it on a flat surface like this really helps. And we're gonna do that all the way around. Now we can test this out to see how it is after we've done our first eight knots by putting it in the pot. So we line this up to the middle, put it in, and hold our eight strings. And this is what it looks like so far. Now, if we did our knots a little bit closer, we could possibly get a third row doing the same thing, or we can leave it as is. I'm gonna do another row with four knots going all the way around. That way I can create just a little bit more dimension. If it helps to have your pot in here, go ahead and do that. And so once you've done that again, you'll get something like this. Note the diamond shapes, just like the one here. From here, we can put our pot inside and hold all four strings. And we'll see how it fits, how it looks. 
Now, this doesn't have to be perfect. It's kind of a little work of art, right? If there's something you don't like about it and you want it to be maybe a little more straight, you can always untie and retie. But, you know, I think imperfection is perfection. So here's what mine looks like, and I've got all this extra string. I'm just gonna go ahead and tie a knot towards the top. And this will be where you end up hanging it from. It's almost a trick in and of itself just to get these eight strings tied together. Don't worry, we're doing this together. Alright, so maybe my knot making skills needs to be improved a little, but <laughs> the good thing is this is a lightweight pot and it's going to hang. Or maybe I'll retie it, right? Oof. My husband in the Navy would not approve of my knot tying skills. But there you have it. So we have a nice little macrame pot that we've made. You can go ahead and put your soil back inside. And then on the side where your seeds are taped, just go ahead and untape those and sprinkle them inside about a quarter of an inch deep. So about to the rim of your pot. After it's in there, you're gonna wanna put just a little bit of water to get it thoroughly wet. And then make sure that you put it in a spot with indirect sunlight. We definitely wanna see these grow. Just look at how beautiful they're going to be the wild bergamot. Thank you again for joining us for USO HRCV's first ever celebration of Earth Day with our family activity kit. Don't forget to plant your wild bergamot seeds and see how your plants grow over the next few weeks. Be sure to get it outside so that way you can track some butterflies. Share those sustainable tips in the comments below and any thoughts about this video. We really appreciate you tuning in. Happy Earth Day.